You're consuming hundreds of hours of content every month, but how much do you actually remember? Last month, I watched 47 YouTube videos, listened to 12 podcast episodes, and saved 83 articles. Guess how much of that I can recall right now? Maybe 5%? And it's not because the content was bad, it's because I had no system. Everything I learned was scattered, some in Notion, some in random Google Docs, most of it just gone. Here's the brutal truth. We're not short on information, we're short on retention. And I finally found something that fixed this. It's called Recall. It's an AI-powered knowledge base that captures everything you consume and connects it to everything you write automatically. They just launched a massive update with a full note-taking editor, and honestly, it replaced every other tool I was using. Let me show you how it works and why it completely changed how I learn. We're living in the golden age of information and drowning in it. You watch a two-hour podcast, amazing insights. You make mental notes. Two days later, completely gone. You save 47 articles to read later. You read them. They disappear into bookmark purgatory. You take detailed notes in Notion. Your saved YouTube videos live in, where exactly? A browser extension? Another app? Your notes and your sources never talk to each other. Tools like Notebook LM came close, but they lock your AI inside tiny project folders. Your actual notes? Still in Notion. Your saved articles? Still in Pocket. Nothing's connected. And Obsidian? Powerful, sure. If you want to spend three hours building the perfect system, manually linking everything, and maintaining it like a digital garden that's constantly wilting, the result? We spend more time organizing information than actually learning from it, I needed something different. One place for everything I watch, read, save, and write. Something that organizes automatically, connects ideas for me, and actually helps me remember. That's Recall. So what is Recall exactly? Think of it as your second brain, but one that actually works. Recall is an AI knowledge engine where everything you learn and everything you think lives together. Before this update, Recall was already incredible for capturing content. YouTube videos, podcasts, PDFs, articles, TikToks, Google Docs, basically anything you find online, save it with one click. But now, they've added a full Notion-style editor, type slash to add blocks, drag and drop to rearrange, tables, code blocks, to-dos, even latex equations. Use double brackets to link ideas instantly across your entire knowledge base. Here's where it gets powerful. All the AI features that used to only work on saved content, now they work on your personal notes too. Generate summaries, quiz yourself, chat with your notes to find patterns you missed. And everything, I mean everything, gets organized automatically. Recall builds a knowledge graph connecting related ideas across your notes, videos, PDFs, research, no manual tagging, no database maintenance, it just works. Open any card and recall shows you what's connected. That podcast episode relates to this article, which connects to your notes, which ties back to that research paper. This isn't just storage, this isn't just note taking. Recall actually understands your knowledge and makes it usable. Now let me show you the feature that made me instantly addicted. The browser extension. You're watching a 90 minute deep dive on quantum physics or productivity hacks or, I don't know, the history of fonts. Normally you'd be pausing, rewinding, frantically typing notes, hoping you remember the good parts. With recall, click, summarize, done. You get a clean breakdown in seconds. But AI summaries exist everywhere now. True, but here's the difference. Most tools give you a summary and then that's it. It just sits there. No home, no organization, no way to build on it. Recall saves it directly into your knowledge base. You can edit it, link it to your notes, build on it. It becomes part of your system and it works on almost everything. YouTube videos and shorts, Spotify and Apple podcasts, PDFs up to 100 megabytes, Google Docs and slides, articles and blogs, TikTok, Talks, Vimeo, even bulk import thousands of bookmarks. You can edit the summary right in the extension before saving. Add your thoughts, highlight key ideas, expand sections with AI, hit save, and recall automatically categorizes it, links it to related content, and organizes it. No manual work. Whether you're dissecting a dense research paper, grabbing insights from a podcast, or even saving a recipe, the extension doesn't just summarize it integrates everything into one system. Okay, this is where Recall goes from helpful tool to wait, this is actually magic. You can chat with your entire knowledge base, not just one note, not just one folder, everything. Use the at symbol to set context. Summarize my at productivity notes and saved videos, then create a weekly action plan. Recall blends your personal notes with every video, article, and PDF you've saved. It knows what you've consumed, what you've written, what matters to you. Let me give you real examples. For content creation, based on my brainstorm notes and the creative videos I've saved, what's a unique angle I haven't explored yet? For everyday life, generate a grocery list from the recipes I've saved with chicken and spinach. For health, based on my at health content and sleep journal, what should I try next? For research, explain dopamine regulation using my lecture notes and those three papers I saved last month. This is what separates recall from chat GPT or notebook LM. Chat GPT starts from scratch every time. No context, no memory. Notebook LM only works inside isolated project folders. Your knowledge is fragmented. Recall chats with everything. Your notes, your saved content, your thinking, all connected, all accessible, all personal to you. This is what a second brain should actually feel like. 
Here's a feature I didn't expect to love as much as I do, the augmented browser. Turn it on and recall Surface's connections as you browse, automatically. I'm reading an article about creative workflows. Recall Surface's a book summary I saved four months ago. A podcast episode on the same topic. A note I wrote that's suddenly relevant again. It all connects. It transforms passive browsing into active learning. You're not just consuming, you're building on everything you already know. And it's completely local first. Nothing leaves your device. You control what it shows and where it appears. It's like having a research assistant who actually remembers everything you've ever learned. So why did Recall replace Notebook LM and Notion for me. Notebook LM is great for focused research projects, but everything's isolated. Your AI can't see across your full knowledge base. Notion is a beautiful editor, but you do all the organizing, linking, and maintaining. It's work. Recall does both. In one place, unlimited sources, notes alongside saved content, automatic organization, AI that chats across everything at once. No manual databases, no maintenance. Oh, and text-to-speech? Coming early next year. Recall became the home for everything I save, everything I learn, and everything I write. One system, actually smart, actually helpful. You can start using Recall completely free right now. And if you want unlimited access to everything I showed you today, the editor, unlimited AI chat, all the features, I've got a deal for you. Use code ERIC25 for 25% off any subscription. Links in the description. Codes valid until January 1st, 2026. I genuinely think this is the future of how we learn and work with information. Try it out, especially now that the editor's live. Thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep building, and I'll see you in the next one.